Hi and welcome to the Solid Expert Tech Tip. My name is Daniel No, and today I'll be showing you how to display the sheet metal gauges in drawings. First, make sure that you get your part and your drawing open in SolidWorks. Then, create or open your steel gauge table. Don't forget that all the gauges that you're going to create in that table must be set from the smallest to the biggest thickness in that order. Then create a text file that will contain an equation that we're going to be using in SOLIDWORKS. Here we're going to use the global variable name gauge number and we're going to use the expression IIF and like. We're going to enumerate all the different thickness in the same order as the shape gauge table and we'll give it different value. What the equation will do, it, it will compare the global variable thickness that is created automatically in your sheet metal part in SOLIDWORKS. It will compare, like I said, the thickness. If it finds the corresponding thickness, it will assign a value to the global variable gauge number. Once this is done, close your file, return to SOLIDWORKS, exit your sheet metal feature, and use your gauge table that you've created. Select the corresponding or desired thickness and bend radius. Click on OK. Once the table will be inserted into SOLIDWORKS, go on the folder equation, use your uh, right button mouse, and select Manage Equation. Click on Import, select your text file containing the equation, open it up. Don't forget to uncheck the Link to File option. Click on Import. As you can see, our thickness in SOLIDWORKS that is set to 0 0.0359 was found within the equation and the global variable gauge number was set to 20. Press on OK. Now you're going to exit your file property and create a property that has a different name than the one that we have used in the global variable. Then in the value column, select the global variable name and that's it. You got your result. Click on OK. Now open the drawing, create an annotation, then exit that annotation, go at the end of the text, Use the Link to Property button. We're going to select the model found here. And we're going to use Drawing View specified in Sheet Property. Then we're going to go into Property Name. And we're going to select the global variable name, or the property in this case, called Gauge. And we're going to click on OK. And there we go. We got the gauge number that is shown in our drawing. If we go back to our part and we edit again the sheet metal feature and we select a different thickness and bend radius, we click on OK. Now our equation has set the gauge number to 10. And if we return to the drawing, the annotation containing the property value will be updated automatically. Hopefully, this information will be useful in your work every day. Thank you and have a good day.